हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी श्री मुलिका देवी महाविद्यालय निगोज इन येस्टरडेज वीडियो लेक्चर आई वाज गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटोजोआ इन दैट वी वाज टेक द इंफॉर्मेशन बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रोटोजोआ एनिमल देन डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोटोजोआस एंड लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटोजोआस इन दैट we are study the subphylum sarcomastigophora it includes two important classes that is class number first phytomastigophora and class number second zoomastigophora with example and their basic characteristic of all the two sub classes now today i will start the next important class uh, sorry next important subphylum that is subphylum sporozoa so let us start to study the sporozoan animals this is very important uh, topic in this uh, in this chapter so let us start to study the subphylum sporozoa you know the sporozoan animals are generally called as endoparasitic because these all the organisms are found in internal part of body of host animals and these sporozoans have the ability to infect all the animals of all the phyla this is very important features observed in subphylum sporozoa first one that is they acting as a endoparasitic second most important character they have the ability to infect all the animals of all phyla this is very important the next important point the sporozoa have a simple body without locomotory organs they show very simple body organisms very easy to understand without any locomotory organelles this is very important characteristic we are observed in sporozoan animal uh, next characteristic that is the mouth gullet and few vacuoles are absent in sporozoans because these are the parasitic in nature and the parasitic in nature because if uh, your animals are belong to the endoparasitic in nature that time they never require any locomotory organelles for the locomotion because they are living inside the host animal body so if they want to uh, migrate from one place to the another place they are not able to migrate but if their host is migrate from one place to the another place they can ultimately migrate it second most thing it is parasitic in nature so the mouth food vacuoles is not required for sporozoan animals the nutrition is generally sporozoic sporozoic means the feeding of dead decaying material or food material found in surrounding environment sometime they are also show holozoic type of nutrition samajh me aa raha what is sporozoic they are depend on dead and decaying organic matters present in surrounding theek hai sometime they are also acting as a holozoic type of nutrition life cycle includes syzygamy that is uh, sorry syzygamy and gamy and sexual synogamy so, so what is syzygamy syzygamy it is a type of asexual reproduction by a multiple segmentation or characteristic of uh, it is a characteristic of sporozoic 
animals or sporozoic organism this is a very important character we are observed that is a sexual reproduction is include syngogamy that is multiple reproduction multiple reproduction with the help of segmentation or it will be called as asexual reproduction found in sporozoans such as malarial parasite malarial parasite that is plasmodium okay then synogamy it is a uh, one type of sexual reproduction union of gametes that is uh, also called as fertilization fertilization okay fertilization that is fertilization infective sporozoite form the synogam this is very important if any type of infection uh, are observed or they can easily make their host that time they show this characteristic cilia or flagella are present in gametes this is very important character cilia and flagella have the uh, are present in gametes for the locomotion purpose because both are used in locomotory purposes alternation of generation is also present uh, in sporozoic organism this is very important features are also observed in your sporozoic then most important thing that is they can use uh, alternate alternate host animal also they can easily alternate the host animal that is one animal to the another animals this is the some basic few characteristic of subphylum sporozoa it includes two important classes that is telospora and tegzoplasma telospora and tegzoplasma so let us start to study the class telospora telospora it is a class of pseudopodia pseudopodian organism or uh, they are also show the spores without capsule or filaments they are also show the without uh, sorry spores with without capsule or filaments pseudopodia is absent and locomotion by grinding the flexation these are the characteristic pseudopodia it is a, a, a organelles useful for the locomotion purpose but this pseudopodia is totally absent in this class but for the locomotion purpose they can use flexation and grinding grinding this is the a phenomena used for the locomotion purposes spore without capsule and nectar without capsule or uh, spores are without capsule or nectar reproduction generally happen in this class that is asexual and sexual type <coughs> next important characteristic that is the telosporian organism are parasitic uh, parasitic in nature they are found in gut and body cavity plus blood cell of host animals it is also parasitic in nature and these are the belong to the subphylum sporozoa and sporozoans are endoparasitic means these are the generally found in gut that is a digestive tract of host animal then body cavity whatever the body cavity present they are also used for the living purpose then blood cell are also used by the uh, this telosporan protozoan animal for the living purpose generally this all the uh, parasitic in nature and they choose particular host for completing their life cycle body covered with pellicil the small size thick pellicil are 
observed in your telosporan animals nutrition is holozoic type they are show holozoic type of nutrition sexual reproduction by spore formation this is very important uh, they can produce reproduce by the sexually by pore formation last important character uh, point of this telosporan that is uh, example of this class that is plasmodium volvox these are the uh, diagram photo image of plasmodium it is actually called uh, it is uh, a malarial parasite you know this is the main region reason to cause the malaria because it is a uh, parasite to cause the malaria and this parasite is present in the body of mosquito if any type of the mosquito are infected by the this telosporum that is plasmodium um, by chance or by accidentally such infected mosquito are bite or they can uh, attack on the human being that time they can transfer this parasite into the human being and this in uh, particular infected human being are suffering for the malaria okay are you understand what is the reason of malaria or malaria causing agent is plasmodium okay samajh me aa raha this is the whole information regarding class telosporia next class that is texoplasma class texoplasma pore formation is totally absent in texoplasma reproduction is only by asexual method that is binary fusion of organism absence of cilia and flagella totally absence of cilia and flagella we are observed and these both the organelles are useful for the locomotion seed have many naked sporozoites cyst are uh, show the many sporozoites they are acting as a, a parasitic nature or parasite of vertebrate animals example uh, texoplasma texoplasma it is a, one of the good example of class texoplasma this is the whole information regarding uh, class texoplasma now a uh, last sub phylum of this classification topic that is to study the uh, sub phylum silopora this is very important sub phylum of class uh, sorry uh, kingdom protozoa or porifera protista sorry kingdom protista phylum protozoa uh, it it will be show some basic characteristic that is they, they will be uh, show the complex protozoa with definite uh, size and shape now here if you are understanding uh, the main concept of the protist animal now here they are show irregular shape but here we are finding definite shape and form of the animal body this is very important characteristic we are observing in silophorans protist they show complex body organization this is very important characteristic because in previous slide we are observed the number of the pore of uh, protist animals so show the simple type of body formation but here they are show complex body formation uh, with definite form and size next characteristic that is body bounded externally by pelicel pelicel is outermost cover uh, outermost uh, covering of the silophorans protist animal they are generally observed in all the silo pura protist next important characteristic that is simple cilia are present or observed 
in siloporous animal for the purpose of food and locomotion food capturing and locomotion uh, you know cilia and pseudopodia flagella are the organelles useful for the locomotion as well as for the capturing of food material present in surrounding ecosystem sometime uh, this will be helpful for the another purposes for uh, during the reproduction time they are also useful for the capturing and holding the another individuals during the mating process this is the all the function of the cilia flagella and pseudopodia basal granules this is a next important character the basal granules below the cell surface interconnected by longitudinal fiber the basal granules of the siloporous animals are interconnected with the longitudinal fibrils and this will be helpful for the different function the cystosomes or mouth or gilt cysto uh, cytopharynx are present cytopagy is temporary not a permanent cytopagy is not permanently observed in siloporous but cytopharynx and mouth cystosomes are present in the <coughs> siloporous protist animal contractile vacuoles are found in one or more than one more than one numbers that will be helpful for the uh, feeding purposes feeding purposes siloporous animals show a sexual reproduction by the binary fusion and sexual reproduction by the conjugation i was give the information that is uh, cilia flagella and pseudopodium uh, these are the uh, cilia and flagella are useful for the locomotion and capturing of food material but i was give the information during the sexual reproduction that is conjugation mating of two different individuals these organelles are helpful and and maximum time the siloporous are show a sexual uh, method of reproduction that is binary fusion it will be called as multiplication of cell body okay this is the uh, uh, some basic characteristic of subphylum silophora acting as a heterotrophic you know heterotrophic means it is a depend uh, sorry it is depend on the another uh, living organism for the food for uh, food purposes example uh, paramecium and verticillia this two organism it is very good or very well known organ uh, example of subphylum silophora next important uh, point of this today's presentation that is class ciliata the class ciliata is a very well known because the class ciliata show example paramecium cilia are present during the whole life or part of life cycle you can just observe this photo image this one this hair like structure are present in outer body wall of the paramecium and these cilia are present during the whole body or uh, during the whole body cycle uh, life cycle or completion uh, completion of their life next important the mouth or cytosomes cytopharynx are present and they are useful for the nutrition holozoic type of nutrition are observed in paramecium so if um, <clears throat> they can go to the particularly uh, uh, go to the near the food uh, source uh, food material and capture it or to absorb to suck the food material present in their body surrounding that is called as hollowed zoic type of nutrition you can observe these are the contractile vacuoles these vacuoles are useful for the nutrition purposes okay now if any type of the uh, food material is present just you can observe on here this is your food material so they can start the uh, sucking process by using the 
this buckle over capture or they can want to just suck it inside the animal body by using the oral grow formation okay next point that is reproduction by the uh, binary fusion and conjugation uh, this is a very common method observed in class ciliata animals they generally use the binary fusion but after the maturation they can use sexual method that is conjugation generally found in fresh water marine water they are also acting as a parasitic they are colonial in habit some of the species are solitary in habitat uh, if you want to find out the paramecium you can just visit the uh, visit the any fresh water body and collect some water from the particular uh, area uh, that will be contain the rich organic materials to collect particular water and observe the under the microscope some of the species are also marine water they are acting as a parasitic in nature means they depend on another living organism for the food and shelter purpose second most that is colonial they show the colonial in habitat they make one proper colony for the living purposes vegetative nucleus is micro macro nucleus reproductive nucleus is micro micro nucleus you can just look here this is a very important characteristic the uh, paramecium they show the uh, definite features that is micro and macro nucleus are present in their body for different function infraciliary system with basal granules are absent gametes in sexual reproduction is founded this is a uh, whole information regarding uh, class ciliata if you want to uh, to detail study uh, this will be covered in next video lecture that is study of paramecium so i will just give the basic uh, information and just discuss the few characteristic of class in next video lecture we are start the detailed study of paramecium so you are easily understand what is the vegetative granules macro nucleus macro nucleus what is infraciliary uh, system basal granules are sexual reproduction asexual reproduction that is um, binary fusion these all the process are study in detail in next lecture uh, this today's lecture only give the basic idea and basic features of the class ciliata then subphylum silophora then taxoplasma class taxoplasma in class tilospora and subphylum sporozoa uh, this is a whole information regarding today's lecture if you have any difficulty any question regarding today's lecture you can ask me in comment box thank you very much to all of you